Welcome to the first episode of What's Cooking. I'm your host, Carl Hardwatch, and today I'll be checking out some great restaurants here locally in Silver. Today on the list is the Kitchen on Court Street. I'm very excited. So let's see what's cooking at the kitchen. Okay, well, we're here with Bernard, the owner of this wonderful restaurant, and I have all these great questions to ask him today. So let's get started. It's a little hectic when you have customers coming in and stuff like that, so thank you so much for having us. So uh, my question to you is, when did you come up with a project? When did you start saying, oh, I want to open a restaurant here in Sydney? A couple of years ago, uh, it's been a lot to open a restaurant like this. Uh, so we're looking for the right building and the right place that we, uh, we can live and uh, decided to one of the other things is to be case here to the restaurant because it's every place. So I go to an institution in that cell. Love the building. And it is great. And you're here in Salem, which I absolutely love. It's close enough to Portland, you know, and you and you can find parking, which is great. Because I'm from Los Angeles. And you can never find parking in downtown, you know. So this is wonderful. So, you know, my husband and I, we love to cook. We love we love to eat, so we're always like, we need to open a restaurant because we love absolutely. But God, it's so much work, right? I mean, there's so much that goes into it. So, what are some of your challenges every day that you, you know, that you have to take care of, and you feel like, you know, it is hard to open a restaurant? Well, you know, opening a restaurant, yes, you know what you're doing. You know, it's you know, look at the market, um, find the right stuff, um, and uh, we're lucky enough to have the right stuff here. And um, good location, and you know, and make sure it's really managing. You cannot, you know, try to please everybody, but it's hard. You know, that, you know. Right. So, would you say it's the word of mouth pretty much? You don't really send out flyers or anything like that. It's pretty much how people get to, you know, they start talking, and that's how they get to know your wonderful that's restaurant. The best, you know, that's the best, you know, that's what you do. Vermont, like people, you know, vaporing, you know. To other right, right. Okay, well, wonderful. Okay, I, I have a wonderful question because I've been every time I go out to eat, I'm always wondering how do you come up with the menu? I always wanted to know is this something that you sit down and you taste and you're like, no, yes, no, or okay? I mean, you have an idea of what you want to do, then I mean, you work on the recipes, make sure you know, um. You're doing some recipes that you know you have the stuff you know to be able to reproduce it, and you know you have you know but if you're on a busy day and a slow day, you can you know it's consistency. Okay. Uh, you know from here you, we do everything from scratch, from the bread to the meat, from everything. That's so, uh, um, it's you know it's you have to make sure you know look at your price point and you don't go over. Or, you know, and knowing the it. quantity, right? It's very important. Like how much are you going to sell sell during the day? And, how much should you make during the day? Because you don't want to be throwing a lot of this stuff away. So, you know, that's uh, that's very difficult. So, I mean, I do realize that, you know, opening a restaurant is an easy... But you know what? You've done a wonderful job. And thank you so much for having us and sitting down and talking to us. Uh, and I'll be talking to him. He is the manager here at the restaurant. And Ricardo, thank you so much for having us once again. I've actually been talking to him about coming in and he's been very, very sweet. So thank you so much, Ricardo. I appreciate it. So he, since he is the manager, I do have a question for him. So how hard is, is it to manage? I mean, from coffee to your employees to everything like that, you know, and I know it's not easy. So. Well, it was a challenge for me because uh, I'm not just on the second, I'm like a corner, so everything was new. And uh, since we open every day, uh, Monday through Sunday, we open uh, from 11 o'clock and we close it at night. Uh, we have a lot of people working here. Uh, lunch is very busy, uh, it's still down during happy hour time, and then you know, we can have the day. So, yeah, we have a lot of employees. Uh, most of them are not really full time. Right. Uh, they have another job, or they go to school. Or they have a lot of going on. Yeah, they have yeah. a lot going on. So the schedule is a challenge. Uh, I think uh, I got it now. You know, I, I got the I got the people I wanted. Uh, and uh, you know, like getting rest on the beginning, you have a lot of people uh, trying, and they don't they don't work out, and then you continue. 
And I think we uh, establish a good team here. That's wonderful. And I, and I, I see that. You know, I see it in the employees. They seem great. Yeah. It seems like everyone is getting along in the restaurants. And that really makes a big difference, you know, when you're, you're trying to run a restaurant. You want good employees and stuff like that. So let's talk a little bit about the menu. Because I went on Yelp and okay. found some great, you know, little reviews from all the customers. So um, I did find out that everyone loves the green tomato. Yeah. What is the green tomato then? Well, they're very popular. The green tomatoes, they're, uh, they're basically uh, breaded and fried. Uh, and they come with a little crema, a little sauce on the side. But uh, they have traditional green tomatoes. Yeah, they serve them well. Actually, all the appetizers are pretty good, like the fried calamari. Uh, the menu is also, uh, it, I mean, Bernard was trained as a French chef. Right. But uh, he wanted to do something uh, like an American type lounge. Everything made from scratch, but to go with burgers, tacos, kind of a little bit of mix for everybody. And yeah. that's amazing because you want to go to one place and you want to be able to get everything you want, you know. So, oh, well, hopefully, we'll get to try out some of this delicious food some tacos, some green tomatoes. So, go back in the kitchen and come with me for you. All right. All right, Ricardo. That was Ricardo, which is wonderful. Thank you so much, Ricardo, for having us at the restaurant. Well, now it's time to go back in the kitchen and try some great, delicious food. Come on, join me back in the kitchen. Uh, this is going to be a uh, black baguette with salmon. Oh, it's delicious. Is that some kind of ranch sauce from Sriracha uh, going on top? It's a uh, cilantro cream sauce and no sriracha. Yeah. A little fried green tomatoes on it. A little uh, apple slaw. Yeah. Good. Let's see, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Yeah, they're all made. Hello, and uh, now we're going to be tasting the wonderful food here. And today they have me tasting the green tomatoes, which I have heard so much about, which I'm so excited. Just looks delicious. You can't go wrong with fried battered food. And then also we have the fish tacos with some rice and black beans, which looks delicious. So I'm really excited. So let's let's start eating. Bon appetit. All right. Oh, grits. Awesome, looks and delicious. Wow, you're giving me too much food here. Oh, you, I'm can gonna have to some, burn. you can take some to yours. Okay, thank you. Would you like to join me? No. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, yeah. and we're going to dig in, and thank you. You enjoy it. Thank you so much. All right, so let's dig into the... We're going to definitely go for the appetizer first, which is the green tomatoes. It looks delicious, and the batter is flaky and nice and soft, so let's dig in. Oh my god, it's so good. The the sauce on top is just amazing. I think it's like ranch with cilantro. And you can't even tell it's a tomato. It's not very like slimy. It tastes really, really good. Okay, well, welcome back. I'm here here with Rachel. And we'll be talking about this delicious dish. Please tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so this is our prawns and grits. It's served um, with six prawns and a grits with a little bit served on top. And the Sauce like a brown butter sauce with barbecue and Worcestershire and other seasoning. Really tasty, probably one of our most best selling dishes. It looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in. So let's get started. Thank you. Okay, well, this is the famous mac and cheese, and I believe it does have sriracha, it has beer, and I don't think I've ever tasted anything with beer in it before. So let's go ahead and dig in to this great mac and cheese. Mac 
that is delicious. Creamy, a lot of good fat, I'm guessing, but I absolutely love it. It's delicious. The fish on the menu today that we're trying are the fish tacos, and it just looks delicious. And I'm sure it's a little messy to eat, but that's the right way of eating, is with your hands. Get into some rice and beans. That is so delicious. You have to head out to this restaurant and try some fish tacos. Great food, great people at the kitchen on the court. I'm so excited to be heading over to Quan's Cuisine next. So follow me and we'll go ahead and try some awesome Chinese cuisine. talk about Mr. Klein is always um, you know the one that's greeting and also you know talking and so that makes the restaurant very personal so here we are um, on our next episode with Mr. Klein. Hi well, Mr. Klein, nice well, to meet nice, you. Nice to very, very have nice. you here. And it's and, very nice uh, to be here and this yeah. is I have to say this is amazing I've never <laughs> been to a restaurant this is, I feel like I'm in a mall or it's so big well, and you know well people said you go to a small museum Chinese museum I, I, I agree <laughs> it's, it's, it is and this Buddha right here is just yeah. so impressive mm -hmm. was this designed by you uh, yeah I um, uh, I've got a long story why because uh, a, Yellow page, yes, and that's uh, going to each year increasing. Right. I look into it, and then uh, what will be end? It's uh, so expensive, and so I figure out, uh, you know, everybody love the Buddha. We we uh, have, uh, you know, make it like a you know statue, and that will be like a landmark. <laughs> yeah, and good for Salem as well. <laughs> Very impressive. I yeah. mean, I've never. Is this real wood? Or it's all let wood make out. Yeah. Very very nice. Yeah, well, I mean, I would love to come and shop here. There's some great things that I'd like to buy for the house. It's oh, definitely well, beautiful. Just, uh, let me know. <laughs> definitely. Something for you. Yeah, and, uh, okay. Well, I'm back with Mr. Quan, and you know, he has an amazing story. How he has struggled, and you know, all the jobs that he used to have, and now look at this beautiful restaurant that he's created and a lot of good reviews on Yelp and how um, the customers have been coming back for a very, very long time. So let's head on inside and and taste some great dishes with Mr. Cole. Want to uh, make some dishes? Yes, we're going to make some dishes with you today, so, yeah, yeah. especially noodles. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, uh, and also, the picture in the back. We're gonna have to definitely show that. That's amazing. Yeah. So the picture in the back, he, he painted that. Parties and stuff, because they're so yeah, big. Yeah, this Bangalore open up can seat uh, 200 people. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you like spicy? I, I like spicy. You like curry? But he doesn't like much of the spice, so let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's keep it to a little. Yeah, I spice boy. Yes. You uh, like spice? Oh. I like spice, he doesn't. So what I can do is oh, I can add... Curry. I love my curries, of you course. You like curry? Yes. Okay, I tell you a little bit. And my chicken, so. I tell you a little bit story of curry. Yes, definitely. When I was 13, the, in Macau, they are making curry. It smells so good. I asked, <laughs> can you tell me what you put in? They said, you're too young one to know everything. You get out here. <laughs> so I said, okay, so I jogged down what they put in. I go, I went to buy uh, the ingredient, but I burned it two times. <laughs> then uh, uh, that I learned, but I also uh, to improving the curry international. Right. Yeah, and uh, we got friends from Ceylon and India. Okay. And 
the, the spices the and spice yeah. because we talk somebody to ask them how do you make your curry right give me your recipe so they give me recipe I take a look I don't have that in my recipe right. so uh, something I add to it and then okay so you made it your own so it was yeah, Mr. Kwan's own. curry recipe yeah, which is so wonderful you cannot buy on the store it's wonderful that's it's great. Well, let's good. try. Let's try some of your curries. I'm how, very excited. How hot can you? Well, we're gonna keep it hot for me, and we'll keep it mediocre for uh, our dad. <laughs> you like uh, no spice? So I can do no spice. Yeah. Well, we'll get both. So don't worry, Dad. <laughs> okay. We want no spice. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go back and in the kitchen. Uh, can, can I? Can I? I think you should. I, I do want to wear one of those hats. Do you sure, have those for sure. me? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. You want an apron too? Oh yeah. Let's. Yeah. Yes. I I would love that. All right, Mr. Khan is letting me wear this hat today, and I'm very excited because we're gonna get it. I'm gonna get an April. I'm gonna help help him cook right here, and I'm so excited. This is his station. No one else touches it, so I'm very excited. You want hang on, or you want to? This is fine. This is okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Let me change. I become a. Chicken menu? Chicken or beef? Pan fried noodle, okay. and this is like a spaghetti noodle, okay, that's and so uh, soft. So I got two kind noodle. You both can share. Definitely, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So these noodles, you freshly make them, or you just buy them? Which ones? The noodles. The noodle, they uh, we special process. Okay. Yeah, because some uh, dehydrate. Okay. Nice, 
I can come and join you again. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Yeah, it's That's delicious. Can't wait to dig in. Yeah, we're going to take out. Looks delicious. I am so excited to dig in. I believe this is the, the spicy chicken. And this is um, not as spicy, but it looks like there's more garlic um, in this one. But I do also see a lot of garlic in here. So I think uh, that is the key to put a lot of garlic and soy sauce and uh, god it just it gets done so quickly you know um and i absolutely love chinese food so i can't wait to dig in so these are the um so we're trying the pan fried noodles is that correct and this is a, a the texture is this a little, is a pan fried noodle yeah and the texture is a you know a little bit harder and and that's what i like i don't like my noodles too too soft mm -hmm. and it has a perfect amount of spice and uh vegetables which i've read that you put a lot of vegetable in your in your yeah, food which is all great fresh vegetable yeah that's what we get 26 Fresh and, they're, and they're very fresh as we were yeah, seeing back in the fresh. kitchen that mm -hmm. it's just delicious fresh food and as mr. Kwan was saying uh, that he doesn't use any MSG 
no MSG and no animal fat and besides we got 13 different kinds of vegetable oil. Wow. 13. More so for the, the 13 different type of oil, do you use different oils for different meals? Is uh, that the depends reason? Depends on the individual needs. Okay. And so some set of oil I only need pure water to cook it, uh, just a little bit sea salt and uh, uh, coconut oil, then we can do it Okay, whatsoever. so you kind of go according to what the customer wants, oh, which yeah, is yeah, this is, a, which is a great thing about a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to serve your customers and be make sure that they want uh, whatever is being put in your in their yeah, food, so they know. We uh, come on day what they need, right? And just like uh, they are private chef. Right. And and I see that. I see how you're so personal and you greet all the customers and they know what's going in their food. And I mean, that's it's like your home, you know, you know what's uh, in your food and right. you know there's uh, no chemicals that are being mm -hmm. put. So because we do a lot of diet for people, uh, just uh, numerous, right, whatever they need and also a weekend and also uh, uh, we can make them. 400 dishes like that's a sheer diet I have no words that's amazing yeah. so it sometimes take a little bit longer because we don't prepare anything right to see their ticket their right. order so because you're making everything fresh and you know, it yeah. does take a little bit longer but I think customers are willing to wait when you are making everything fresh and good and they know that it's good for them as well yeah so yeah. Um, let's dig in and uh, try uh, right now I'm trying the pan noodles we'll head on over to the curry noodles after but um, we're gonna dig in and I can't wait thank you yeah. Oh, great. And Mr. Kwan just actually served us this uh, great soft noodles, uh, which is kind of like spaghetti uh, mm -hmm. and soft, and, and it's a, in a curry sauce. Um, so we tried that pan fried, which is amazing. Now we're going to try the soft noodles. Um, and also, he, uh, Mr. Kwan does take a lot of pride in, you know, everything that is made fresh from the water, right, as you were yeah, saying. Yeah, this is a true kind of filtrous filtration water. One is uh, reverse osmosis. Another one, the canking water, and that is alkaline water. That's the only recipe. And you serve that to all of your customers? Oh yeah, whenever they, whatever they want, because it's healthy. Right. So that's great. No yeah. tap water. You know, when you're coming to Mr. Kwan's restaurant, you're getting everything that is, um, you know, that he would serve to himself that he'd eat, right? Sure. So yeah. we we make sure he makes sure um, that everything that you're eating and putting into your body is healthy and good for you. Yeah, that is important. That yeah. is very important. Yeah, they are healthy. We are happy to see that, to hear that. Yeah. Right. So That's thank you so much. Let, let's let's dig in, and uh, I'll have more reviews after. <laughs> Okay, as Mr. Kwan was saying, these are all the different types of rice that they offer here, which is amazing because I am a big time uh, rice eater. I can eat rice and noodles all yeah, the time, like I mentioned. Yeah. So this is a great option, you know, to change it up. And, uh, and you know, Mr. Kwan explains how, um, where do you get these manufactured from? Uh, actually, we uh, uh, arrange someone, they bring in cases. Okay. So that way we, uh, and also we use pure water for everything That's from wonderful. ice to rice and that makes food. a big difference when you're eating you can tell oh, the sure, difference sure. the taste you mm -hmm, know when you're mm -hmm. when you have um you know pure water or mm -hmm. um pure ingredients it's very yeah. very important and no you can chemical. taste that you yeah. can taste that when you're mm -hmm. eating your food yeah, so that's right well mm -hmm. wonderful please come and um come to you know the uh quen's cuisine and try out these wonderful dishes that we got to try out today and all these different options which is wonderful uh, so. yeah. yeah we got a lot of specialty here <laughs> yes you do i yeah. definitely agree mm -hmm. it's it's wonderful so Great. to say bye to us which is really nice of him and that's the personal touch that you always give and we had such a wonderful time um and on our show what's cooking and hopefully you guys will come and check out Kwan's original cuisine and make sure to try out some of those great noodles mr kwan has cooking for you uh well i'm your host carl bardowich and hopefully i'll get to see you again next week thank you